up YouTube? It's your girl Rochelle and I'm back with another video. I am still on the go you guys, but that does not mean mm -mm -mm, that we stop this show. We are still budgeting because budget is life. So first I want to say a big hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning in and watching my content. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing in today's video we will be budgeting paycheck number one for august 2021 now if that's something you're interested in then stick around i want to say a special thank you to each and every one of you who tune in to my content i am just so happy to be celebrating 5,000 subscribers and we've then gone and hit 5,500 subscribers and now guys we are over 5,700 subscribers. I'm not even back home yet to do my giveaway. I need to be home so that I can put my giveaway together and get it all set up for you guys and just get it done. So um, thank you so much for sharing, for always engaging with my content. I'm just so grateful for you and if there's a video that you haven't checked out don't forget to definitely catch up because there's been some different content coming your way lately and I hope you guys have been loving it. I have enjoyed collabing with um, different content creators like Tanisha um, because we have really just been spitting game. Okay, we've been talking about everything, everything budget wise. So anyway, in today's video, we will definitely be doing a pen and paper budget. I'm going to share with you our actual numbers for August paycheck number one. I'm going to be using my Spiral Peace, Love, and Budgets notebook. You can definitely grab you one over at RochelleAdamson.com where I have lots of fun little goodies that are well-priced and will keep you motivated to budget. Okay, so this is it, y'all. This is how I budget with pen and paper on the go while traveling, making sure that we get it done. I share our entire budgeting journey for our family of three. We reside on the island of Oahu, Hawaii, but we are currently traveling um, due to um, some family medical issues um, with my mom. And so we definitely wanted to check on her and make sure my girl was good. Um, she's definitely stable. Thank you all for checking in your prayers, your thoughts, your concerns. It really means the world to me. You can tell that I'm really behind on following up with comments. You know, I will catch up. I don't play. I respond to every single comment good or bad and so I appreciate you guys um, if you want to know more about how I stay on task and I always budget um, catch any of my content where we are striving to get on the road so we are getting on the road staying on the road and getting to debt freedom um, and just know that if you have any questions, you can tune into any of my video playlists where I share and go into greater detail about how it is that I budget every dollar that comes through our door. If you are looking for more one-on-one -on -one assistance, I got you. I am a lifestyle coach. I don't call myself a financial advisor. This is not my background, but I have the life experience, okay? So I know what it's like to be in a lot of debt, to owe people a lot of money, and I know what it feels like to slowly pay that off. Case in point, we are almost done paying off our mortgage. We have just under $17,000 left to pay off, y'all. By the end of this year, hopefully, we will be mortgage-free. That is the goal. So anyway, if that's your thing, if you like talking about budget, if you like talking about travel, if you like talking about traveling on a budget, then I got you. Now, I will be announcing the back-to-school giveaway winners somewhere in this video. So you got to tune in. Okay. We have the winners. They've already been contacted. We reached out to them. And so you got to find out if it was you. Okay. 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 Um, you know who you are though. Also, like I said, I will definitely be doing a 5,000 subscriber giveaway once I land in Hawaii, which will be very soon. Comment below. What do you think I'm going to do for the giveaway? Let me know in the comments, if you are watching right now, what do you think Rochelle Adamson Budgets is going to do for our 5K giveaway? I will give you a hint. There will be two winners. There will be a grand prize winner, and then there will be a runner up winner. You know, you know, I don't like when it's just one person that wins something. But anyway, let me know what you think I will be giving away and shoot me some ideas, you know, cause I think I have my, you know, my plan, but 
you guys might have something even better. Okay, now let's dive into the video. First, I'm gonna share with you our actual numbers for paycheck number one. We're gonna talk about our income. Then we're gonna talk about how we spent it all. And then at the very end, I will share our income spend breakdown because I don't play. I don't want all of our money, all our hard work, all our ducats to go to one person or one thing. We are trying to diversify the income and diversify the spending because we like to multitask and achieve multiple goals at the same time okay so we're gonna try and make this work y'all we are at my sister's house in Houston making it work okay so now let's first check in with our income we're gonna talk about the real numbers and what it is that we actually brought in for August so the month of August paycheck number one we brought in a total of four thousand sixteen dollars and 71 cents i am so happy with that number i feel like y'all you know that is the best feeling that has got to be one of the best feelings in the world to be traveling on vacation whatever you want to call it and get paid while you're off while you're not at work like come on what better feeling i'm just ecstatic i'm so excited let's budget this money First up, you know what it is, we gotta pay the mortgage. And so the mortgage got a total of $640. Now I will be sharing in an upcoming video what our mortgage is looking like. I know I usually do monthly or bi-monthly updates, but it's getting real juicy. I gotta come at you and let you know how it's going with this mortgage because we are getting down to the wire, okay? Next up is Discover. That's right, I do have a balance on our Discover card, so we paid them $205. We do live a credit card lifestyle. We use credit cards and um, I do use cash also, but for large purchases, <laughs> they going on a credit card. We getting those points. Okay. So $205 there. Capital One is next. Capital One got $180. That was its full balance. And so that is paid back down to zero. And then we have Chase. Chase received $70. $70 buckaroos so debt payments there you go next up is home repairs now this is crazy because if you have not realized not only am i trying to pay down our mortgage by the end of this year but we also have a tenant and we are also trying to pull off a lot of home repairs and upgrades and renovations and so we do have a home maintenance fund sinking fund that we use that we pull from but y'all we went to inspect the home for the first time in almost three years might as well say two two and a half years and there were definitely some things that had happened you know snow and ice concrete is the concrete was done and so we did have to um just do an emergency booking of concrete repairs i'm not talking like just a small thing no our entire front and back had to be redone because i don't play about my tenant's safety and so um I did deplete our entire maintenance fund um, for a series of different projects, which I will be sharing in an upcoming video, but I had to top it off because I actually ran out of money in my home maintenance sinking fund. Like, stop, it's the ghetto. But anyway, I had to add an additional $700 and six dollars to cover our concrete costs and once again i'm just gonna be very happy that we are able to cash flow we are still cash flowing any expenses that are coming up with the house so i'm just grateful and i'm gonna keep it moving keep it pushing Next up is the miscellaneous category and I meant to say that none of these categories are in any specific order at all I just whatever came to mind first I jotted it down I tracked it and here we go so for B more you know this was a trip where we went multiple places so for Baltimore we used all cash to cover all of our day-to-day -day expenses outside of not including our hotel our flights and our car Actually, for Baltimore, we used my parents' car, went on their insurance, shout out to them. Thank you, mommy and daddy. So for B more, I did have two places that I went that would not accept cash. You know, I was 
problematic. I was like, where is the manager? I was so bad. I like, I'm just glad Micah wasn't with me both times. But anyway, they just told me they're just, you know, the pandemic girl, come on, come on. We are trying to make this a cashless transaction. So I had to use my debit card. I was mad about that. Um, anyway, that total experience for Be More came to 400 Oh, it's kind of hard to write this way. $411.86. So what was that? I wrote it down. Oh, we had to pay for hotel parking. Really, the hotel did not have its own parking garage. So we had to pay for public parking, overnight parking. So that was um, about two to three hundred dollars. And that was for the entire time we were in Baltimore. So, you know, that covered our overnight parking so that we could, you know, have a, our car secure. You know, I had to make sure my mommy and daddy's car got back to them in the, in the way I received it. So also I had a girls night. My homies took me out. Okay. I'm talking limo party bus. I'm talking dinner and dancing. We, but you know, we stayed safe because we had our own space. It was the bomb.com. So anyway, I was having such a good time. I wanted to pay for dinner for me and my girls. And so that was like another hundred and something dollars. Um, so total Baltimore, $411 and 86 cents. If you want to know how I am able to to use cash and dedicate it by location, by category. Check out my previous video. It's probably called something like sinking fund update while traveling, travel check-in, something to that effect. It was definitely a recent video that I posted. I share all the tea, okay? I let you know how you can stay on budget while traveling. We don't play. Next up is Texas. I had two places that did not accept cash in Texas. So um, one of them was the place we went to um, to get pedicures for, for myself, my husband, Micah, and our daughter, Eva. And so that came to $120 for the three of us to get pedicures. And that included tip. Oh, these prices are just beautiful. Hawaii, that would have been $5 million. Okay, and then I had this random place we went to, my nephew took us to, he is such a foodie, I love it. His his palate is so mature. He's like, auntie, I'm gonna take y'all to this bakery. They make bomb bunt cakes, like mini bunt cakes, and they were delicious, but they were cashless only. And so anyway, that was $22. So total for Texas, we had to swipe our card for a total of $142. So not bad. I mean, we've been in Texas for like pretty much a week and we've only spent $142. Everything else was cash. Next up is miscellaneous. Um, miscellaneous was just to take care of some banking things. Like I wanted to order new checks and all that jazz. And I also wanted to buy some stamps. Y'all, if you have not heard, the price of a forever stamp is going up by like three cents per stamp and so it is what it is i wanted to buy some stamps so i wouldn't have to worry about the increase for a while and so total miscellaneous spending came to 42 dollars and 94 cents so boom there's miscellaneous now let's talk about the cash if you watch my recent cash stuff and you know that we said we stuffed <laughs> 500 buckaroos. I love, love, love my cash envelopes, honey. I'm still stuffing my cash envelopes that I would be using in Hawaii. I bring the whole kit and caboodle here. I don't play business as usual. Okay, next up is our personal money. I split this out because I get a lot of questions as a girl, how do you afford to do this? How do you afford to do that? It is our personal money. This is money we can just blow on whatever we want. We are, you know, we don't have to talk about it. We don't have to discuss it. It is what it is. So for this paycheck, Micah got $200. I got $200. And Eva's back, y'all. She's off of punishment. She's getting her allowance again. She gets $50. Yes, she's only 10 years old and she gets $50. Um, she has to budget that money. That has to last her. She And understand, we don't have to pay for anything for Eva. She pays for it all. So it's something to the madness. It works. Next up, let's see, is donate. We don't share who or what we give to, but we do share the total amount. For this check, it was $200 to different donation places, charities, and people who might be in need. 
Next up are our regular bills. Now the only regular bill we had to cover for this pay is our phone bill and that went up. See, this is why I cannot put this phone bill on auto pay. It's ridiculous. It's $186.78. And so I'll be hitting them up because my bill is 70 cent more than it usually is. It could just be a new tax. I just, I don't know. I question everything. Next up are our electronic sinking funds. So the only one we added to this pay was our Hawaii sinking fund. And that got $182.13. Next up is our savings. We always put $100 in our emergency savings um, just in case. It is, it does have the minimum $1,000 um, plus some extra. If you want to know what our goals are for our sinking funds and our savings, check out my latest video about sinking funds. Okay, so if you add all of that up, you get, you get, you get $4,000. $16.71. I already double checked it off camera just to keep the video moving along. Now, before we jump into this breakdown where I share how much we actually spend on each category, I just want to quickly announce our back to school giveaway winners. Shout out to Beauty Budgets and Journey to Save. I love them. Like, I'm so glad I already know them because they always comment on my content. And Beauty Budgets, I will definitely definitely be tuning into your channel more. I've just been traveling, but I think her channel is so cute. Definitely check her out. Thank you ladies for joining and for entering the giveaway. You are the winners. Woo -woo. So enjoy your prizes. Now don't don't, if you did not win, if you are not beauty budgets or journey to save, I got you. There's another giveaway coming. Like I said, very soon. Okay. So now, 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 let's talk about this income spend breakdown. 27.26% went toward debt payments. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and that is all of those things you see right there. Next up are home repairs, which was an unexpected thing, but thank goodness we could cash flow it. So 17.58% went to home repairs. And if I'm being honest, that's money that I would have either put in our Hawaii sinking fund or extra toward our mortgage. So um, I'm actually okay with that because it still would have achieved a goal we already had. Um, next up is miscellaneous, which is these buckaroos right here. And that came to 14.86 percent and if you're wondering like oh Rochelle couldn't you have just taken the cash back out and given it to yourself you know cash or you know deposited the cash you had planned to spend I could have I really could have but we're going for easy over here I already budget and had planned this money out in my head and so we're just going to take it from this paycheck next up is um, cash envelopes cash envelopes got 12.45 percent of our income next up are uh, personal money personal money got 11.2 percent because we believe in giving ourselves some money okay work hard play hard all that good stuff those bills will always be there we work very hard to live um, below our means so that we can pay ourselves well now we like to spend that money on investing we like to save some we like to blow some that's just something that works for us in our household so just find that number that works for y'all next up is giving giving got 4.98 percent so basically we aim for five percent per pay since we do still have debt once we become debt free we will raise that number next up are our regular bills we are still so blessed to only have to put 4.65 percent toward our bills like i said we really try to stay at least one month ahead on all of our bills with the exception of the phone bill they just won't cooperate and let me pay ahead so oh well we, <laughs> that's what we got going on we already paid our rent and our car payment for the month next up is our electronic sinking fund and that got 4.53%, which was the Hawaii sinking fund. Last but not least, we put 2.49% 
toward our savings category, which is definitely our emergency fund. So that is our income spend breakdown. That is everything we spent down to the penny. Okay, on the go, boom, done deal. I am so happy to have, you know, have shared this with you guys today. Thank you for tuning in and watching. If this is content you enjoy, then feel free to check out my latest budget video, such as my August budget, uh, budget, such as my August budget with me video, where I go into more detail about how we spend to how we spend, how we plan to stay on track and meet our goals. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace love and budget.